Gospel on November the 16, 2015, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is very convenient for us to take a peek of the first reading from the first book of Maccabees. There sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes. He became king, and in those days there appeared in Israel men who were breakers of the law. They seduced many people. <coughs> They built a gymnasium in Jerusalem. According to the Gentile custom, they covered over the mark of their circumcision and abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. The king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of the burnt offerings. and burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law they tore up and burned. Whoever was found with a scroll of the covenant or observed the law was condemned to death. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled or to profane the holy covenant. And they did that. Okay, we, as we have been going through this last week, are looking at what is going to happen in the end. Today, we are told about this terrible time of the Jews, of the people of God, the original people of God. And we, like them, while we wait for the second coming of the Lord, are suffering also. Not only one king, as it was back at the time of this Antiochus Epiphanes, but many try to destroy our faith. They try to harm us, even today. People and children, even children, die, decapitated or crucified at the hands of those fanatics that call themselves Muslims, but they are far away from the love of Quran, of Islam. Yet they utilize that flag so that to engender hatred among us. There are people that are being stoned or crucified or beheaded in places like Pakistan and Syria and Iraq and India and many, many other places. And there are even places such as Mexico where just for the sake of saying that you are a Christian, they are killing you. Bands of robbers and assassins who do not want to hear anything about God. So we are still being put to the test, still being required to be martyrs, to be witnesses to the blood of God, to the blood of Christ. <clears throat> we are also blind. What do we see in this blind man sitting at the roadside near Jericho? Upon hearing that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by, he immediately starts crying out. But his calling is very particular, Jesus. Yeshua, that is salvation of God, son of David, 
you who are the salvation of God have pity on me. <clears throat> there are many nowadays that would rebuke us when we implore God. And if we doubt it, let us just see the lawsuits all over the world for us not to have our cross in any place where it used to be. All across Europe, lawmakers want to take away the crosses on classrooms and places. In America, the same thing. Everywhere. Going against Christ. <clears throat> and then God, Jesus Christ, stopped and asked that that man be brought to him. What did you want me to do for you? Immediately he again insists, Lord, let me see. He is recognizing on Jesus his being God. No one else could give his sight back. But what does it got to do with you and me about this blind man? Is it not true that we are blind? We have been blinded by the politically correct. A. Don't offend the homosexuals. But they don't care for your dignity and mine. They will show themselves half naked in front of our children, kissing themselves and caressing themselves. Because they don't care. They want to call their unions marriage, breaking a custom for thousands of years that marriage is between a woman and a man. They want to be allowed to have the same rights, whereas a man and a woman naturally, without anything else, will have children. And they say that a man and a man and a woman and a woman with means of medical assistance could eventually have children. But without that medical assistance they are totally unfertile. And yet they fight for that kind of stuff. They want to make us think that abortion is alright. Where even the mother of an innocent person is the killer of that very same person. But yet they distort the truth so much that she doesn't even know that she's killing her own infant. And so on and so on. And perhaps today we would need to cry just as that blind man, Lord Jesus, have pity on me. Because I do not see you. Because I am frightened in this world. Because I am going through all sorts of trouble. And sometimes I sort of lose I am at the risk of losing my faith. But like, let me see. Let me see the beauty of your hand that is upon the world and upon you and all my brothers. So that my faith will be renewed every day. Until we meet in heaven. God bless you all brothers. <laughs>